Though we are similar to other mammals in many ways, we humans are the only animal species on Earth that engages in trade. This show explains why, and why our capacity to trade is leading humanity into a new era of capability. My name is Brian Thomas Swim with the Human Energy Project. Our series of short films explores the ways humanity is building the nervous system of a superorganism, a superorganism called the noosphere. As we deepen our understanding of this noosphere, we discover a collective sense of meaning and purpose that can help us address our global challenges. There are eight conditions that enable the noosphere to arise. One of these is trade. In today's film, we show the way trading networks gave rise to the noosphere during the Paleolithic stage of humanity. Let's begin with one of the earliest stories of trade for which we have the evidence. The key archaeological discovery are the necklaces of perforated seashells found throughout Africa. From the Blombos Caves in the south, all the way to the Mediterranean shores in the north. Consider a moment 70,000 years ago, when two groups of humans have come together to trade. The travelers might carry a bundle of necklaces. The hosts, who live far from the sea, might possess a great many fire-hardened spears. In considering the exchange, the drama of natural selection needs to be remembered. Like all animals, humans are always at risk of being dominated and even destroyed by others. For a trade to take place, both sides need to feel they are getting a good deal. But how many spears are equal to one necklace? The only way to approach a solution is to discuss the whole process the amount of time it took to make the items, the difficulty in finding the materials, the arduous journey to arrive there, on and on. Such a discussion would be impossible without symbolic language, which is why only humans can work out trades that benefits both groups. Trade brings to each side something they consider more valuable than what they exchanged. The implication for the evolution of humanity is immense. Trade accelerates the development of both groups. Consider an amazing example of this 50,000 years ago. Paleolithic humans settled throughout the 17,000 islands of the Indonesian seas each island necessarily developed its own seagoing technology with unique features pertaining to the materials chosen and the techniques invented. Trade networks developed throughout the islands, exposing inhabitants to the inventions and materials used elsewhere. Naturally, the islanders gravitated toward the most effective inventions and best materials, which one day brought them the capability of reaching the Australian continent. No island left to its own ideas would be able to match this advance. Trade brought together the creativity of thousands and unlocked a new continent of possibility. As we will see in later shows, the trading networks of today link every human group with every other human group on the planet. An invention in any one place quickly becomes a universal achievement of humanity. In our current situation, trials such as a virulent virus are met using creativity from cultures all around the planet. That is the noosphere in action. Yes, the challenges we face 
are increasing in difficulty, but in the same spirit, our capacity to respond successfully is also increasing. With our instantaneous connections and our capability of trading ideas through digital media, we are part of a single, vast, erudite mind at work for the benefit of all.